One of the really cool things about this PC is the fact that it is upgradable. So as you can see, it does have one 8 gig um, RAM module in here and there is space for another. And obviously this does take laptop components, so it's laptop memory that you would use here. It is DDR266 megahertz. Um, there is an M.2 drive here, it's 256 gig. We also have 512 versions. Even more impressive and what I really love about this, if you're going to be using this as a media center, if you have a look at this, this is a normal SATA pod which is actually used to power up an SSD. So it does come with the tray where you mount your SSD and this will actually then slide in here. So it's really cool that it has all of that. Um, I think what I also really like about this machine is the flexibility with regards to ports. There's plenty of USB ports, six at the back and two at the front. There's also front audio. There is no rear audio. However, if you are using a screen with HDMI, obviously you will get audio through your HDMI port as well. But other than that, in terms of performance, this machine is really, really capable. I've actually been able to edit some 1080p video on this. It is laggy using Flamora, but it's not to the point where you cannot use it. It actually is very, very decent, I think, uh, in terms of performance and price. So I'm just going to attach the Wi-Fi antenna. It's 2.4 and 5 gigahertz as well. And also something worth mentioning is it definitely has to be the speed, probably the, the best aspect of this. It's such a compact machine, but absolutely responsive, and that's largely because of the type of drive, as well as the 266 megahertz memory, and of course it's an i5 uh, 8 generation, so it's plenty of power there uh, in terms of processing, and it's a multi-core setup, so your normal office use is really nothing for this type of machine. It's extremely low power consumption, because it does ship with a power supply. Um, it's a 65 watt power supply, so it's very low power consumption which is awesome so especially now i think considering that we have load shedding and you know power is getting really expensive in south africa um, so having a low power consumption option is definitely the way to go so this case just obviously slides back on and push it back and there's a little screw at the back here that you just tighten up and that's it done so you probably noticed that there is an hdmi port together with the display port as well as vga so it's really really easy to connect this machine up in terms of flexibility for types of monitors you can obviously use an older setup as well as a more modern setup and i think also bear in mind that this can actually display 4k um, and you can run two monitors simultaneously i would recommend using just those two ports it does have a kensington lock as well plus you've also got a lock, another lock point here gigabit ethernet you can actually mount this onto the back of a monitor and the reason for that is that if you do you actually end up with quite a clean disk space with really not much on your desk except just your just a monitor if you guys are looking for something just office um, you know basically the the home office kind of use um, kids uh, homeschooling that sort of stuff you can also even better hide this behind a tv uh, because of the sheer size of it it's very easy that you can hide this behind your tv um, and if you obviously go that route, then you can basically have a full media server um, at the tip of your hands. The nice thing is that you can also put in wireless mouse and keyboard. So literally, your desk setup could be an extremely wireless setup with absolutely nothing uh, that needs uh, to connect up physically. Uh, you could also use a wireless headset as well, um, which will just connect up via Bluetooth because it does have Bluetooth built in because of the Intel wireless card as well. So I just wanted to show you guys basically what a clean setup could look like. 
Um, so as you can see we've got a 23 inch monitor there and of course also Dell as well and we've got our little case at the bottom um, and as I mentioned to you guys that you can easily tuck that little unit into the back of this monitor and I think by doing that you end up with a really nice clean desktop look um, so just to show you guys what I'm referring to so if we grab this generally when you look at the back of the monitor you'll notice that you've got this little pillar there or possibly a place that you can actually mount this on and if you actually have a look at this very simply what we're suggesting is actually hanging that at the back here and by doing that you'll end up with an extremely clean setup like this where there's absolutely nothing on your desk so if you guys are into this kind of look let me know uh, we've got these on a ridiculous deal at the moment and of course these, are, these machines are really fast excellent performance for internet and uh, daily usage as well and of course some video and photo editing and you can also link up a webcam as well so you'll be able to get your online schooling as well so we have a couple of these units that we're looking to clear and we have them on special at the moment so if you're interested in one please give us a shout it's not on our website these are clearance units so give us a shout and we'll try to assist you but trust me guys, this is a 50% discount off the normal retail of these units.